Hello, welcome back to 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. I'm here, still in lockdown, the pandemic lockdown. I've got lots of beer in my stash, so I've got a beer for you tonight. Uh, hot on the heels of the last Belgian beer, I have another Belgian beer. That's a different style. It's in the name is a blonde, but actually, it's apparently, it's an IPA. So that's going to give it a go. So first brewed 2010, so 10 years ago, eight uh, percent, and it is Anastasi Blonde. From Brasserie du Pays uh, Flamand. Um, I've never had this beer before. I've never heard of it before. It was difficult to get hold of. It probably isn't in Belgium, but uh, it's not one of the well, well-known Belgian beers. Uh, love design, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But really liking it so far. Also, in these nice kind of dimple bottles I do like. So, let us uh, crack open the beer, let it breathe for a bit, and then we'll talk about the beer and the bottle. Got my lovely craft Pauli glass here from um, Stuttgart, uh, which is one of the recommended sort of vessels that this beer is supposed to be served in. Look at the rate beer uh, glass recommendations for each beer to try and get it a bit right. So, oh, not much on the hiss there. So let's give this a go. I've seen lots of yeast at the bottom, so I'm not going to make too much of a mistake with pouring this one. Make sure I leave any of the, the sea monkeys at the bottom. Oh, certainly can smell it as it comes out. It's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. And there we go. These little bits at the bottom there. So I'll just let that just sit and breathe for a bit. So let's talk about the bottle first. And then we'll do the tasting notes. Um, so the, the, we've got the cap here. Uh, that must be the brewery logo. You might be able to see that. Uh, that is uh, fairly nondescript. It looks like some sort of um, know, like dragon or lion. I think maybe a lion actually is on there. That probably has significance. Uh, and then we get to the bottle. Really like the bottle. Obviously the nice glass, which I like the look of. And the label is clear. So what it, what they've done there, as you can see through, so it looks like it, 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 I think it's a nice, really nice plastic label. That's all right. And you've got all these lovely hop uh, drawings. It's been really nicely drawn. Beer blonde, artisanal. Uh, I don't know how long this brewery's been around, but I imagine not that long because this does. This looks like it could be a traditional one, but they you can clearly have modern tastes because old beer bottles didn't have all hops all over them. Um, and that's the hop. Uh, that's the leaf from the hop there, as I know, because I'm just growing hops at the moment in my garden, uh, growing first gold hops. Uh, it says beer blonde artisanal hot fermentation, which uh, I don't know what that means. Secondary fermentation, maybe. Uh, Le Houblon fait la force. It's got in inverted commas here, which is some sort of quote or tagline. Uh, it's from... Uh, oh, it says it's from France here. Oh, yeah. It's France, not Belgium. For some reason, it's listed in the back of the book as being in Belgium. So this one is actually from France. I do apologise. Uh, I, I blame entirely the book for its A to Z, which, uh, which has it listed on Belgium, which is obviously nonsense. So this is actually from France, so that's very exciting. We don't have many French beers in the book. Very exciting to try this one. Blairingham in France, apparently. Uh, is that what? Yeah, the, the village of Blairingham in, in, uh, on the border between the former provinces of French Flanders and Artois. Okay, good beer country then. Uh, anything on the side here? Just some information on the website. www.anastakey.com um, Okay, very good. So I, that, that is a lovely bottle. So let's put that aside. Let's go to the tasting notes and then we'll look at the beer. Okay, pours golden blonde with a fine mousse of foam, citrus fruit and hints of peach on the nose. On the palate, it's bittersweet, citrusy, herbal and medium bodied. Finishes appetizingly bitter. Ooh, okay, this sounds lovely. There's even, I'll show you this picture in a minute. Uh, but I'm really, I'm annoyed by this book. The best is it lists, it lists this beer under Belgium. Where is it? Oh, this is... Yeah, clearly, I've just got to show this in case you might think I'm a bit of an idiot. Clearly under Belgium. So, very annoying there, but there we go. Uh, for a bit of an amateur. This is all amateur anyway, so it's fine. So, back to the beer. Um, let's look at it. So, pure, pours golden blonde of fine mousse of foam. So there's a bit of foam there. I'd say it's more amber than blonde. It's not too blonde. It's kind of more orangey. Uh, definitely more of an amber colour than blonde, so it's kind of fails on that. Um, 
says citrus fruit and hints of peach on the nose. Oh, loads of peach. Absolutely. Bags of peach. That's amazing. The amount of peach they got on there. That is very interesting. So let's go and see what the palette's like. Cheers. Oh, it's got a good strength to it. Um, even though it's brewed in the IPF style, which I'll talk about in a minute, doesn't it taste far more like a blonde beer. Uh, that's very interesting. It's basically what it appears to have done here is a blonde beer with a, lot of, a bit of hops in it. But it is it's a, it, it not hiding its percentage at all. It does taste every bit of its 8%. It is nice. It's a bit sweet for my liking. Um, but you know what? It's all right. It's all right. Um, well, we'll see. Right. I'll let that just move me around for a bit. It's got a quite the aftertaste it says bitter aftertaste i'm not really getting um bitterness i'm just getting a bit of sweetness actually um uh so what we got here it says the brewery started up in 2006 so it's been going for a bit of a bit of time but not too long um i see so they they set themselves up in a form of distillery where the beer had been used to make a potent spirit that probably went down well with the farmers. Uh, it says here, Beer de Garde country, where the northern French have always celebrated beer. However, the Brassine range of beers, such as Triple and Blanche, suggests that Belgian influences are also strong. Hot growing area around Popperinge is only a 40, mi 40 minutes drive away in Belgium. So it says here, Anastasia Blonde is a different kettle of hops, being the brewery's take on the IPA style. That's fascinating. It doesn't taste too much like an IPA, but it is their take on it, so that's fair enough. Um, first brewed in 2010, it was inspired by the success of the Brassine Printemp Spear, a seasonal beer with a lot more hops than usual. Such was a positive response that they tried another beer, also to cover the speciality beer market. It's been a total success. Uh, Anastaki, by the way, is Flemish dialect for to the next one, a sentiment this beer heartily endorses. Well, I think I'll be enjoying my next beer more than this one. It's okay. I quite like it. It's not really, it's a bit too sweet for me. Let me have another sip. It's like a sweet blonde beer. I'm not getting a huge amount of hops, I'll be honest. It says bittersweet, citrusy, herbal, medium body. I'm getting the herbalness. Bittersweet, getting a bit of that. No citrus, I'm not getting any citrus at all. Uh, medium bodied, yes, I'd say that's true. Doesn't. I'm not getting much bitterness. It's sweet rather than bitter. I prefer a slightly bitter beer. It's okay. Now, there's also a picture here from the brewery of them sampling the beer and doing some sort of demonstration. The beer looks a lot more white than it, a lot more golden than it does in uh, here. So if you see that one there, that's golden. This is the actual beer. A bit quite different, I would say. Uh, very interesting. Maybe it's not travelled well. Who knows? Um, the, the caption says, Manufactured beers included Anastasia Blonde, a check by staff at Brasserie de Pays Flamands. Now, I don't know whether it's been checked by staff, because they've also got, I reckon they're doing some sort of brewery tour, because they've got a big pot of um, malt there, which is usually what the brewers get out on a brewery tour to allow the, the punters to sample a bit, which I always very much enjoy eating the bits of malt, especially the dark malt. They're lovely. Um, yeah. This beer is fine. I'll happily drink the rest of it. Uh, I'll sip it. It's not a quaffer. It is quite boozy. It's quite sweet. It's not very hoppy. Wouldn't get it again, I don't think. Um, but, you know, not bad. An interesting taste. So I'll leave this one and I'll say like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for another beer review very, very soon.